day we be grinding And if you ask me, we the best I'ma be like Yo, that's us with the crazy flow And you gon' hear us on the radio This is how we do every day We be grinding And if you wanna come and test us I'ma be like Yo, that's us with the crazy flow And you gon' hear us on the radio When I'm spitting all these rhymes Hey, that man say this is how we do it every day. We be grinding. If you ask me, we the best. I'ma be like, yeah. That man say this is how we do it every day. We be grinding. If you wanna come and test me, I'ma be like, here. <laughs> you gotta love that man. You gotta love it. It it don't get no better than that. All right, man. You see it. If this is your first time watching this video or whatever. Go check out part one to the scheme and you're going to find out what you're doing. See, this video is like four minute offense. We're telling you when to do it and what you're looking for, how to do things. But in part one, we're telling you what you're doing. You know, we pretty much just like exposing you to what's going on. But in parts two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight and whatever of any scheme, we do four minute offensive style gameplay footage and you're going to find out when just like this the wide side is right you know we're operating with the queen piece on the chessboard as i demonstrated whatever the queen can do you want to implement the queen as much as possible we scored this 93 yard touchdown at the line of scrimmage believe it or believe it not at the line of scrimmage, we scored that touchdown because it was in our audibles. I don't care if I came out with that play or not. Even if I could have came out to like Hail Mary, four verticals. But I saw the wide side right. No one was guarding the queen piece. And we have our space. Even though I was only shooting for 10 yards, 8 yards, we got a touchdown. So here we go. The goal of this scheme is to implement the king and the queen as much as possible this most likely will be the last part of this volume okay we've did seven videos we've covered some ground this stuff was very well thought out and it was therapeutic you know we you've seen if you go back and watch every single video i did this in order with no breaks you know it was all volume 2.5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 parts right and you've seen the jet touch pass you've seen half back draw you've seen the flat route aka the table route from the running back you've seen the switch concept you've seen like the motion half back swing all that stuff counter trade texas route You've seen that stuff. You know, it was repetitive. It was therapeutic. The cell concept. The flood concept. All of that stuff is in the audibles. You have that stuff at the line of scrimmage. You have 17 plays within this scheme to work with. Okay? All you have to do is come out to the line of scrimmage and read the defense in a methodical manner. Look at the two safeties. See if they're one or two high. This is not college. In college, they're running three safety sometime. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, but yeah, they're they're running one or two high. Look at the leverage of the cornerbacks. Are they pressing? Are they off? Then look at the line. Look at who's look how many people are is in the box. Because at first, I want to know if I can run the ball. I can't run the ball on this play. I gotta throw a bubble screen. Okay, boom. He audible on defense. So now I gotta do a read option. If that cornerback on the slot receiver crash in, I'm going to throw him. So let's see. He crashed in. I hand the ball off. One cut move. Touchdown. That's how it goes. You read and react. That play in my play was in the audibles. Okay. That was in the audibles of this scheme. So yeah. What I try to do. You know, guys, this is a very slow channel. I won't put out nothing if it's not well timed and well thought of. You know, with many hours. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Like I say, the last time I'm, I'm, you know, I always emphasize that I make mistakes. I turn the ball over. I throw picks. I've showed you guys a lot of my dark times before.
So yeah, that's how that thing go. But yeah, four minute offense, we're gonna know when to do things. You know, like right here, the wide side is right, running back wide open, but 54 got caught in the bubble. You know, he got caught lurking underneath and we went on top of the cloud and under the sky, <laughs> just like that. So yeah, we always talk about that concept on top of the cloud, under the sky. Nice try, cat. Nice try. Nice try. You know, sometimes you got to go watch and watch film. You know, I've watched film so many times on that play and I'm like, wow, man, had I thrown a low pass, <laughs> will it would have been better. If I'd have thrown a low pass, my receiver leverage would have been like a back shoulder, you know, like he would have boxed him out to catch that pass. But so sometimes it's about mechanics. Nice play. Queen piece. First down. We go from the 23 yard line to the seven yard line. Look at the time. It's 30 seconds left. All we want is three points ultimately, but we got three timeouts and we got 30 seconds. So I'm in favor. I control things around here. Look at this. Man on man it appears to be. Why not send Morster on a swing route and he leave his linebacker? Look, as a user, he had to go crash down and go stick my running back. But we threw a post to the right side because it was man on man. So whichever way, I, it was a two-way street for me. I was either going to throw the swing route or the post, you know. So, yeah, go check out the audibles if it's your first time. If you've been around, feel free to ask any question. Yes, this stuff still works on next gen and it works on old gen, current gen, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I got a um, surprise for you guys. I am in the making and the works of doing a new scheme. Okay. Baltimore Ravens playbook is where I'm most likely headed. Now, I have been looking at Washington Redskins and Tennessee Titans playbook. I got to branch off a little bit, you know. Sometimes it's good to have another scheme, you know, like two playbooks in your mind frame. It's good to have two or three playbooks in your mind frame, you know, because like these playbooks are like planets. You know, if you're stuck on planet spread playbook, you don't know nothing else but spread playbook. If you like literally stuck, I've been stuck. I don't be, I, I'm not stuck because I've branched off a little bit. But I don't want you guys, I don't know what you guys do, you know. But, you know, I got to make sure, you know, like my secondary playbook was Carolina Panthers back in the days. And when Bruce Aarons took over from Arizona to Tampa Bay, I used to rock with Bruce Aarons, um, which was Arizona Cardinals. But he left and went to Tampa Bay. So I walked with him for like a year and stuff. And then I got, you know, hooked on the spread playbook and I can't leave. So. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of branching off right now, and I think I'm going to Baltimore Ravens. We're going to run some read option a little bit and see how that thing go. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> That's all I can say. It was a good play, good call, bad mechanics. No one was pressuring me. I should have held back and threw that ball a little later. You know, with these guys, I'm playing regulars. You know, I'm not playing ultimate team, so... You know, everything counts when you play regular. Like, Trey Lance is like a 77 overall, 79 overall, if you ask me. I don't know off rip, but he's very low. They just came out with like a 96 overall Trey Lance in Ultimate Team. <laughs> so, yeah, this thing is about mechanics. You know, you have to know your do's and don'ts and the rules and regulations. Look at this high low read right here. Look at safety. That's what I mean by pre and post snap. The safety rotates. Like, if you pay attention to this play right here, look at the two safeties. I don't want you guys to look at nothing but the safeties. Have tunnel vision. Look at the safety. That right safety rotated down. The first safety, the left safety, he rotated up. It was cover three. Look at the safety this time. Some people, you know, what I've known, I've been playing this thing for like 20 something years, 22, 23 years now. Since like, Madden 99, Madden 2000, okay? Some guys don't have peripheral vision. You know, they can only see to the right side of the field or they can only see to the left side of the field or they can only see the middle field or they can only see the deep middle. 
you know it's so many portions of the field that some players only see some players only see behind the line of scrimmage you know most of my screens are most of my schemes i meant to say <laughs> are behind the line of scrimmage nowadays i think i can see everywhere you know you know i got some more you know some great areas to fill in but yeah i want to show you guys what's going on that's why we do gameplay footage but yeah some guys cannot see certain portions of this field you know i i have like partners in real life homeboys who can't see certain sides of the field this guy can't see the left side at all he only throw to his right every down this guy can't throw to his right he only see the left side every down <laughs> it's so funny this guy may roll out to the to a certain size every single down all of his plays predicate on rolling out to a certain side of the field and you got coach kk just dropping back three yards i keep the whole field in front of me and i keep both i'm, I'm able to work both sides of the field trey lance can be a two speed if all i care his speed can be a two because i'm not rolling out you know it's about concepts look at this concept rpo if it look good, I'm going to hand the ball off. If it don't, I'm going to throw it. And if it don't, I'm going to run it with the quarterback. I got three reads. I was able to do three different things on that play right there. The alley was wide open. Here we go. Boom. All I needed was the first. Ooh. <laughs> Come on now. I'm already winning. So, you know, it's not really. It's not really a key critical thing. But I do need to keep the ball. Right. Here I go getting fancy, try to get greedy a little bit. I kind of like got too hectic and got too, hey, hey, you know, it's time to get jiggy with it sometime. <laughs> yeah, man. But yeah, clock management is a key critical thing in this, in this game. You know, you got to have some clock management skills. Nice. Beautiful. This is what we call one-on-one -on -one matchups versus timing based concepts some concepts are timing based like literally there's times where this guy would be in zone right he would be in cover four where the cornerbacks are running deep fourths like quarters or like cover three and thirds but it looked like one-on-one -on -one, man to man because they were running man principles that's how the spread playbook will manipulate you you know, everything is just so scattered out among the field and we're lifting the field, basically. And we don't have to have eye formation because the concepts, look, square, triangle, X, and circle has to be accounted for, which means one man is covering the running back. Two high safeties. I can run the ball right now. Some downs, you can run the ball every down. I could have ran the ball. Wouldn't have got that many yards because... We saw another thing going on, but I could have ran the ball. It was five on five. That's what the spread playbook do. I mean, there's no better way to put it. But, you know, this thing is all based on mismatches and space and opportunity. Look at X. We know circle is scattered out. We're going to take X on the flat if we can. We move the running back over here for a decoy. Look at X. He's going straight to the flats. Now we change him. We don't want the flats. We want to move these linebackers so we can get our switch concepts. And it worked out perfectly. One on one. <laughs> at first, pre-snap, we were thinking, okay, let's take X on a flat to help out with that curl route. And then we seen the two high safeties. All we want is one on one. I was untouched. One on one now. I'm gonna tell you now. I did click on and use mechanics with this play. I clicked on and got inside. But that is part of the element of running the concept, you know. If you're running the concept, I'm running the switch concept and my guy was the inside guy. And I need to be underneath and have that leverage underneath to catch that user ball. Boom. Touchdown. Those are the things that I'm talking about. You have to see this stuff. <laughs> hey, 
I'm going to really take the next volume serious. You know, I'm going to really take that serious. I'm running pistol and read option. I won't do it until I get it down pat. So who knows? I might, you know, we, we, I might, you know, the read option may come later. I might go skip the read option, do another scheme and come back to the read option because I haven't perfected it. Yeah. So every offensive strategy and scheme is about concepts, you know, we like to try to run two concepts one concept on one side one concept on another side and that way we have you know a lot of stuff to fight with you know we just put our guns on the table at the line of scrimmage and then we fight <laughs> our playbook is our guns and you know at the line of scrimmage we fight at the table you know i'm gonna put this fight into play at the line of scrimmage nice one cut move that's a byproduct of the play. And let's go. Let's keep the ball rolling. As you can see, we're playing New England once again. Different user though. <laughs> let's go. Nice try. Nice try. I thought the user was going to follow the running back on the swing route, but he didn't go for it that time. Usually they do. So we'll give him a pass. Sometime you got to come to the line of scrimmage and realize the personnel grouping okay this guy is relentless he's stuck in nickel two linebackers three cornerbacks two safeties you guys know i don't know if you if you like a long time follower or whatever but if you've seen most of these videos in order you know sometimes i don't even pay attention to the two high safeties this is 11 versus two one key factor is to wait for the alley to open okay the alley looks open on the right side if the tight end gets his man and everybody gets their man the running back will kick out and get his man and then we have one-on-one -on -one open field versus the safety i did not know i was going to score a touchdown listen touchdowns are scored at the line of scrimmage but you don't know you're going to score a touchdown that play you understand that that means you were trying to perfect every man on man in all space possible but you didn't know you're gonna get the yards at the catch or you know you're gonna get to the second and third and fourth level running the ball there's the alleyway i knew the alleyway was gonna be conquered and i'm thinking i was gonna get hit right up in this area boom but you know that's aftermath right here this is aftermath this is a 10 yard fight fellas you need to see it that way. If you see it that way, you're going to be good. If you don't see this as a 10-yard fight, or if you don't have concepts, rules, principles, guidelines, and structures on your offense, you're going to be like a ship with no rudder. You're going to be like a ship just sailing out there with all them high tides and typhoons and waves, and your offense is just going to be going nuts and all over the place. So I advise you to come home, you know to the spread playbook if you can if you don't come to the spread playbook there's plenty of concepts out there but get you some identity you know get you some you know a name for yourself get you some some rhythm get you one or two or three plays that you have mastered all right y'all this is coach kk i'm all in for you guys <laughs> Even when I'm not around posting videos, I'm still thinking about you guys. You know, what can I do for the guys? All right, y'all. Let's get it. Spread playbook. We out. Come and test us, I'm a